What's up guys, I'm Kel, Red Zone Rogue, and welcome to our Winds of the Ominous Moon double booster box opening. This video is brought to you guys by Happy Little Hug Factory. I do have an affiliate link. It will be in the description of this video and every single video going forward. So if you want to buy some forcible cards and help out the channel at the same time, that is a very good way to do so. They are a good company. They have really good competitive pricing. I have personally bought from them myself and, you know, I would not support them unless they had a good service and I do believe they do have a good service. So go ahead and check them out and give them some love. But enough of that stuff. I am super excited to crack into these. Like I said, I got two of these here. I do have some more booster boxes that I potentially am going to do like a deck in the box style video. I'm probably going to keep doing that. I think it's fun. I hope you guys have fun with it. And before we get started with the actual box, I got this uh, time spinning witch card. She's pretty sweet. Uh, this is the uh, the ruler side and here is the J ruler side. Gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. And then of course, here's the uh, massive Kaguya side. Very cool. I do think the hinge here feels a little bit more stable. A little bit more solid than the Alhamat ones, because I do have my, you know, my, my Uber Alhamat and my regular full art Al Alhamat. I think this one feels a little more solid than the other ones do, but in any case, let's, uh, let's start opening up some packs, yo. Alright, I got the shrink wrap off. Let's pop open this. God damn, it's hard. We got our booster packs inside. We have this one kind of off to the side. That was weird. I thought they were supposed to be in the middle. And maybe this box got some turbulence, but this is our basic ruler pack. Should have some magic stones. Should also have some basic rulers. Let's go over it real quick in case you're new to the game, just so you can see what's in here. There should also be a promo in here. Let's take a gander. Yep, just like the last set, they are like sealed. You can see the, the blood sucking butler, uh, the basic ruler. There should be the other ones. I'm not going to open this up entirely. We have our bitty bitty ball promo with fucking awesome looking art. Very, very cool foiling. Uh, it's not textured, but. You know, it's kind of the same as like a, a common or uncommon uh, full art, but very, very cool. Before I get started with the packs, I do want to note, just in case you have questions, because I know someone's going to ask this in the comments, for the Time Spinning Witch, um, you only get this card if you buy three booster boxes of Winds of the Ominous Moon, and your local game store might have a, an additional promo or uh, some other way to get it, but uh, I, would, I would ask your game store, and I would ask whoever you're buying it from how to get it, but, you know, that's how I got mine. And, uh, it's, uh, it's really sweet. You know, I am pretty bummed that we kept these, like, shitty, flimsy boxes. Man, the old boxes were super cool. And by old boxes, I mean, like, the, the new old boxes. Those, those are awesome, like the hardback ones. This is what a booster pack looks like, in case this is your first time ever seeing one of these. Here's the back, and let's crack it open. Alright, so our first card is Grimia's Fairy. And so for the card layout, basically I'm gonna put all of the full art rares here. A big pile of rares here, a big pile of super rares here, and a big pile of full arts here. And that's basically gonna, basically gonna be our layout. So we have Grimia's Fairy. We have, I'm gonna get this closer, man. A Fifth Element. Great movie. I don't know about the card. Dark Bakuro. I think this card's really cool. Also, he's goofy as fuck, but he's really cool. Technique Gem Warrior. Time Composing Elf. Not a great card. Cool art. Leaf Fairy. Oh, dude, right off the bat. Fucking full art, super rare. Uh, Zhang Zhang the Holy Prince. I'm not sure if this card's very good, but he's really cute. Look at his fucking panda face. He's pretty cool. He's got the uh, the big bird in the background. So it seems that we got, let's see, our common bunch, and then we got our rare, or maybe our, our foil, and then after that we have a rare. Okay, so we do have the rare is Kintaro. He's actually a pretty good card, I think. Uh, he's a fairy tale. That's actually relevant because uh, Grim is relevant in Wanderer now. We have Alexandrite's Crash, Uncommon, and then Bird of Demise. So it looks like the Uncommons are going to be at the back. So the, the last couple cards will be probably the Foil, the Rare, and then the two Uncommons. Cool. So I'm not going to go over that again. We're just going to blast through these, and this will have a spot of honor among the, the, the full art rare pile. Got the Leaf Assassin. Pretty, pretty cool. Power of the Emperor. I love the art in this card. It's, uh, it's not a great card. Uh, Mount Howell Bodyguard Squad. Bot Squad. Uh, Black Leaf. I'm calling that card Bot Squad every time I say it now. Timebound Spirit. We have Bloodied Winds. Awesome Raya art. We have another full art. Well, this is uncommon. Kintaro's Partner. To go with our Kintaro. Pretty cool. Full art uncommon. This is a pretty good stat bear. We have a Drifting Little Moon rare. Eh, it's, it's alright. So it's, it's an interesting card. And then we have another Kintaro's partner, followed by a Restoration. Fantastic card, Restoration, in my opinion. Got a Lightning Speed Crash. Another Grimia Fairy. 
Fire a bow elf. Man, so many people hate this card so much. They're like, that sucks. Also, why is it an elf? I don't know. I think the art looks cool. It's just like a draft card. Fairy of the Holy Tree. I like her uh, flower eye and her like butt coming down <laughs> beneath the, the green line. This is the butt line. Uh, Magic Soldier of Time, followed by, ooh, a full art rare. This is uh, the second advent of Hope, Grimia. Pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that's like Grim and Lumia, like fucking fusion fusion dance together. Pretty sure that's what that is. We have a, a Moonlit Canopy, rare. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure if this is a good card. We'll see. And we got this uh, Spirit Searching and a Naughty Child's Chasting. It's fucking spanking blazer here you know honestly from this oh, first of all the art on this card is fucking gorgeous but I wanted to say I'm really hoping for eh, white leaf I'm hoping for uh, feet sting gotta get gotta get some feet sting burnt cooking it's like my cooking all burnt cooking Jang Jang's bodyguard got a red leaf fairy of the holy tree oh she doesn't have the butt line she just got she just got butt yeah I mean other than the art I mean, it gives you barrier. That's kind of cool. Eh, I, I'm gonna go with, it's kind of cool. Oh, nice. We got the Unyielding Dragonlord Ragnarok. This card's fucking sweet. It barely missed out on my top 10. I think this card is awesome. Um, it's kind of a little expensive to play, but I think it's really cool. We also have Every Last Ounce of Strength. Another kind of, kind of cool card. It may or may not see some play here and there. I don't know. Spirit of Time, I think this card is terrible. Got this uh, Time Golem. Jewel Illusionist. Art looks pretty cool. The Praying Mermaid, another sweet looking card. Jang Jang's Bodyguard. Lightning Speed Crash. Demon in the Moonlight. He looks fucking crazy. Got the Essence of Void. I love the art on this card. I think it's like, it's pretty stylized. I dig it. I dig the stylization. Oh, dude. Fucking Welser, the Archmage of Fire. Both of these cards were in my top 10 list and I cut them just because they cost so much to play. Though Welser does have an, an alternate way to play him. But anyway. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I like Welser quite a bit. And we have the End of Possession. Another card that I actually like a lot. I definitely want a full art one of these for my IU deck. And then a Scarlet's Testament. Alright, we got Aura of Hope. Firebird. Very, very simple, just Firebird. Time Composing Elf. Another leaf to go with our Leaf Squadron. We've got the Bot Squad. The Honorable Thief Guild Member. She's cute. I also like her cute little cat. As a card. <laughs> we have Prismatic Flame. This card is actually really sweet. I dig it quite a bit. And then we have a Leaf Dragon and a Lava Majin. Got the Dread Touch. I know some people were talking about that card. Yeah, I don't know about that. Lightning Speed Crash. Another Burnt Cooking. Isolate. With... Look at the art on this card. It looks fucking like stoned as fuck. Or of Hope. Got another Firebird. Got a Journey to the Future. I, I like this card. I don't think it's too bad, actually. And also, I like the art. It, uh, I don't know, I like this card in general. And then we have uh, Analyst of the Ocean Floors, Alasaurus as our rare. Yeah, he's okay. And we have another Journey to the Future Man. This is a good chance to see like the difference between the, the full arts and the regular. Full art just looks so much better. Just, just make all the cards full art. And then after that, we have a, a Mother's Love. And we got another Booty Land card, Requiem of the Soul. I kind of... Like, I kind of didn't, like, notice that this card was in the set. It's not a super good card, but I, I saw the art. And I was like, where the f what card is that art from? It's cool art. Anyway, I got this doofy-looking dude. He's actually not too bad. Gem Warrior Guy, which is Lament, which is Minion. The fifth element. Get uh, Corbin Dallas. Leave the Dallas Multipass. Roar of the Soul. I like this card a lot. It's a really good card for Ayu. Well, I mean, obviously. And then we have uh, Winds of Guidance and a Meditation got another white leaf i think it's good in like a guild deck which is minion honorable thief ray's gale oh i forgot about ray dude one of my favorite cards in the whole set fifth element another ray's gale all right i mean i think it's actually not not a bad card and uh, then we have a reincarnation of the holy tree yggdrasil super rare cool art kind of a cool effect i don't know if it'll see any play but i think it's cool we have the gem blade amethyst i know a lot of people think this card's good i think it's okay and we have vivian the envoy of rebirth and this card, I like a lot. Got the Resistor of Destiny with awesome uh, Dark Elf art. The Sprinting Time Horse, not to be uh, confused with the Sprinting Flame Horse. Time Bound Spirit, Essence of Void, Blue Leaf, Leaf Assassin. Oh, dude, another full art super rare. This is the 
Adam Sakehart, the Envoy of Valhalla. Guys, I'm, I want to note right now that I'm super fucking stoked that we're going back to Valhalla. I love the Valhalla cluster, and I wish I could have gotten more cards from it. I really hope it's going to be as awesome as the original Valhalla, at least in terms of, like, flavor. So, yeah. I'm kind of cool about getting this uh, full art bunny man. He's also a super rare. We also have uh, Piles Cook Sylvia. I don't know about this card. I don't know. She's Sylvia, but uh, I don't know if this is good. Got the Panda Carpenter and another Vivian. Nice. We got the Windblade Elf. Another Honorable Thief. Another Witch's Lament. The Dragon Lord's Breath. Really cool art. Grimmius Fairy. Red Leaf. Got a full art Bird of Demise. Eh. 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 <laughs> Those are my thoughts. We have um, Blazer, the Vice Leader of the Chivalrous Thieves. Blazer. He's okay. I don't know. I, I don't know. I kind of like him. I don't know. We'll see. Glint of Insight, which is one of my favorite cards in the whole set. Very, very good card. And then a Were Rabbit of the Null Moon. We have the Not Sprinting Flame Horse, Power Gem Warrior, Essence of the Void, Power Spike. Got a lot of power going on. It's all about the power. How are you playing with power? We have a Full Art Kaiser Phoenix Super Rare. Man, our Super Rares have not been super good in this, uh, in this booster box so far. At least the, the Full Art versions. It's kind of a cool card. It's got an interesting effect, but I think it costs too much to see any any real play. But it's still kind of cool. And we have another super, or this is just a regular rare. The second advent of Hope Grimia. It's our second one. Lightning Waterfowl and a Time Dilation, which I like this card. Got a Fear Bird, Jewel Illusion, Earthquake Observer, a Dread Touch, another Resistor, Sleeping Vampire, Time Bound Spirit. Pretty cool art. That's all about. This is about all I have to say about that. It's a heroic epic for the thousandth night, or a heroic epic. It's quite sweet. I like it a lot. Any of the multicolored cards in this set, I think, are actually really good. We have the End of Dreams and a Dragon Hunter. Whirling Winds, <laughs> Blue Leaf, another Power Spike, another uh, this Jabroni, Requiem of the Soul, Requiem of the Dream. We've got a Full Art Power Spike, and then we got a Hollow Pig Squadron. This card's sweet. I forgot to talk about this card. I think this card is really, really good. And we have a Lava Majin and a Beast of Light. Got the Herbivorous Beast, Herbivorous Beast, Slamalophodosaurus, <laughs> Sprinting Time Horse. I know that's not what it's called. Just, just roll the guys. Dark Bakuro, Isolate. Oh, dude. This is a full art Ataractia City of Verdant Green. This is card, probably the card that I got, got talked about or that got talked about the most after I made my top 10 video. People are like, yo, what about Ataractia? I think this card is really good. So, yeah, it's really, really good, and I'm glad to have a full art one. This is a rare, by the way. So full art rare, you can see like the texturing here. Very, very sweet, so I'm, I'm glad to have that one. And we have another War of the Soil. War of the Soul. Alexandrite Crash, and a The Night Before the Decisive Battle. Another Fire Bow Elf, Wings of Ragnarok. Uh, Derp Face, got the Honorable Thief, Whirlwinds, Slothosaurus, Full Art Kintaro. Kintaro! We're gonna, gonna, I'm just gonna put him down here. We have Arrival of the Hero. This card is very good. It was also in my top list before I cut it down a little bit. It's a very good card. Uh, probably an auto include an IU, maybe. Maybe. Uh, Restoration, sweet card, and a Ground and Air Supremacy. Got a Sleeping Vampire, Leaf Fairy, Power of the Emperor. Bloodied winds. That's gotta gotta watch out for the bloody winds, guys. You're gonna get like AIDS or something. We have a Giga Thunderfish. So this is the secret rare of the set. Um, the secret rares are basically super rares, full arts from earlier in the cluster. This is a pretty good one actually, because um, Giga Thunderfish is actually not too bad. I was hoping for a Lorite, but I got more boxes to go through, so I'm kind of happy with that. Oh, nice, another arrival. I think this card's sweet. We have another Naughty Spanking and a Three Sisters of Time. Very cool artwork. Mm, cool card. Not very good. Got a Treacherous gen or Technique Gem Warrior. I don't like that one as much. I like I like it when it's just Treacherous. We have at least Leaf Assassin, another Gem Warrior. The End of Dreams. Nice nice little artwork here. It's uh, eh, not, not a great card. Another uh, Alisaurus. We have a Lightning Waterfowl and a Journey to the Future. Demon in the Moonlight. I was, I was gonna start saying something, but uh, it doesn't really go. It doesn't really work really well. Grimia's Fairy. We have a full art card that everyone hates. Firebow Elf. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the art, man. We have a Zhang Zhang, Holy Priest. Or Holy Prince. 
whatever. We got a Scarlet's Testament and a Beast of Light. Got a Jewel Illusion. You think it's blue, but it's really green. We have uh, Earthquake Observer, Burnt Cooking, the Pathway Part. Oh, this card is sweet too. I like this card a lot, and I'm very happy to see a full art version of it. So I'm getting a lot of cool, like, full arts, in my opinion. Oh, nice! This is another card. One of my favorites in the whole set. Fantastic card, going straight into my IU deck, and probably a lot of other decks. We've got a White Rabbit, and a Reincarnation of the Soul. Good old I Poke. Uh, Bot Squad, Tower Spike, Black Leaf. I need to come up with some better names with these now. We have a... Oh, dude! Full Art Welser! It's fucking sick! Nice. I love the foiling on his eyes. Hold on, let's see if I can get the shine. Yeah, look at that. Looks fucking awesome. I like it. I'm happy about the full art, Welsler. Well, well, sir. We have the Kingdom of Destiny or Diversity Light Palace. Guys, I could speak. I could read the words. This card's really good. Uh, Panda Carpenter and Wings of Guidance. All right, power of the Busty Bow Elf. Give me strength to get a J Ruler. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Get the the line, butt. Don't cross the line. <laughs> we have a, another full art. What's this fucking second one? That is the second one. We have Beyond the Threshold of Time. I think this card is actually really, really cool too. Um, we have a Knight of the Black Moon. Cool art. And a the Light or the End of Dreams. Dragon's Lord's Breath. The Bod Squad. Another Elf. Time Horse. Another Spirit. God, so many, so many of those fucking spirits. The Leaf Fairy. It's both fairy. And a leaf. The Last Thunder, I like this card a lot. The Path We Part, I like this card a lot as well. And the Knight of the Black Moon, and I like the art. Good old Bloodied Winds, Fairy of the Holy Tree, Jewel Stuff, Requiem Stuff, <laughs> Bokoro Stuff. Oh, it's a variant. A uh, variant, Herbivorous Beast, Salamasaurus. Well, uh, yep, that sure is. We got a Jewel Illusion. I'm gonna put this as a Herbivorous Jabroni in my rare pile. Yeah, full art jewel illusion. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh, dude! Zero! This is one of my favorite cards in the whole set. Um, yeah, so it starts off as Ray the Black Owl, and then it will flip to zero, and zero is awesome. This card's very, very good. Definitely want full art versions of that. We have a Scarlet Testament and an Eruption. We got a P Hour Spike, Burnt Cooking, the most delicious of all cooking, Or of Hope. Firebird. Oh, got another full art rare. We got a blazer. We got this fucking Ace Ventura fucking hairstyle as I knock the camera. We have a... No, ooh, nice. Another Ataractia. Pretty good. Winds of Guidance and another Vivian. Alright, so I still have hope for a J Ruler. Either one would be nice, but I really would like the Feet Sing. We have a Sprinting Time Horse. Eh. Eh. We have a reunion between the master and people. I like this card a lot. Um, we have a ground and hair, ground and hair supremacy. Yep, that's what that is. Blue leaf, leaf assassin. I mean, I can feel it. We got the more commons. Ah, oh, power gem warrior. The most disappointing card of all time. Oh, nice. Okay, I lied. This pack was good. I love the, the distortion of time. I definitely want a full playset. So very happy. Ooh, nice. I like this card, too. I like this set. Or this pack. This is a good pack. And is it just too much to ask for for an Uber Rhea? I mean... It's just, just an Uber Rhea. It's not a big deal. Burnt cooking. Very appropriate. We have a Holy Prince's Nanny Citrin. I think it's a pretty good card, actually. And we have a The Last Audience. Just one, one fucking guy. And a Meditation. Got this uh, Fairy Lady. Pissed off leaf, napping vampire, the weird ass hybrid thing, I poke, bloody winds. Oh, dude, full art bot squad. Followed by oh, dude, I forgot about the forgot about there were even magic stones in the set. Ethril wind magic stone. It's not a flippy. No, it's not a flippy. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this card. We'll see. Eruption and bird of demise. <laughs> so uh, I kind of knocked the camera. A lot, so you probably saw that in very fast motion. It's probably just like Bleh! shaking all over the place. I apologize. Um, let's see what our full art is. Full art. We have a technique gem warrior followed by oh, dude, time reversal. Another one of my favorite cards in the set. Very happy to get this. Very happy indeed. Another end of possession and a naughty child's chasing. Got the sprinto horse. 
Another Wings of Ragnarok and some other stuff that we're just gonna plow right on through. We have Cecil and Tia, or Cecil and Tia. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying the names right, guys. I'm pretty sure I'm saying Tia right, but I don't know if it's Cecil or Cecil. In any case, I think this card's really good. And it's a rare, and it's full art, so yeah, thumbs up all around. We got a uh, Blazer, uh, three sisters, and a Dragon Hunter. So it kind of feels like we're at our limit for full arts, barring, you know, a, a god pack or something of that effect. So we'll see. We have a time composing elf once again. Cool art. Not a great card. Another Kintara. That's a third one for the box. Leaf Dragon and a Panda Carpenter. Aura of Hope, Black Leaf, a Demon, Jang Jang, Ray's Gale. Let's just get another Ray, man. Another, uh... Get another Rayman. Gem Blade Amethyst and a another Ad Ad Adaractia. It's a third one. That's not too bad. Time Dilation and an Invitation to Valhalla. First time I'm getting this card in this box. I think this card is awesome. Janky as fuck, but super cool. Alright, so we've got like a couple more packs left. And I'm kind of feeling that we're not going to get a J-Ruler. Because that is just my luck. Are you fucking kidding me? This is our second full art Kaiser Phoenix. What is with the pull ratios? This is fucking weird. Got another Ethereal Wind Magic Stone, Gem Blade Amethyst, and a Spirit Time. So yeah, that's some pretty weird ratios. I've almost never gotten two of the same full art super rare. Super weird. Oh, dude. Very, very, very happy to get a full art end of possession. This is going straight into my Ayu deck, which is full art. I full arted the whole deck out. And uh, yeah, very happy about that one. We have a Leaf Paladin. It's kind of cool. Another time dilation and a spirit searching. All right, so this is the last pack of box one. Will we get a J ruler? Probably not, but I still have my no, hopes crushed. Hopes crushed and destroyed. And then, oh, fucking Kaiser Phoenix. Gem blade amethyst and spirit of time at least. At least we got the great spirit of time. So before we go into the next box, let's quickly go over some of the ratios. So I got eight regular uh, super rares, one regular variant, five of the full art rares, five full art super rares, and two of them are Kaiser Phoenix. This is super weird. I don't know what was up with these uh, in this box. And then the uh, secret rare, Giga Thunderfish. All right, box two, let's go, boys. <laughs> okay, so I just ripped this off trying to pull it out. That's uh, not the best, not the best quality, guys. Um, but it looks like this one's off to the side too. Maybe that, maybe that, that's just how they are. Um, let's just go into the box. Let's see if we can get something sweet. And for the most part, now we're gonna be going very quickly through all of the commons and uncommons. Big bot squad. We've got a white leaf. We have a Zhang Zhang. God, fucking Zhang Zhang bodyguard, dude. We have an Adam Sycart, the envoy of Valhalla. Eh, it's okay to start off with a super rare. In a possession and a Scarlet's Testament. I swear to God, I've hit this camera in this video more times in like the last 10 videos combined. We have a full art Grimius Fairy. Looks nice. Not a great card. Oh, sweet. Time reversal. Yo, that's uh, two super rares in two packs. Pretty good and a pretty good one at that. Scarlet Testament and a Beast of Light. All right. I, this reminds me of, of a um, Grim Cluster card. I think it's from... Crimson Moon, Wings of Ragnarok. Yeah, I think it's from Crimson Moon. Another Ethereal Wind Magic Stone. I got two of those in the last box. Lava Majin and a Beast of Light. Got another fucking Time Horse. Essence of Void. And let's see. Oh, I got the Salophodon. Oh, dude! Nice! I forgot this was even in the set because it didn't even appear in the last box. Full Art Inheritor of the Stars, Gil Lapis. Fucking stoked. This card is awesome. Got a Kintaro. That is our fourth Kintaro. Got this uh, Were Rabbit and uh, this uh, Dreamin', Dreamin' Talkin' Hansen. Black Leaf. You know, I've almost given up all hope of getting a J Ruler. I just think my luck is just that bad. Panda Carpenter. We got an Ataractia, followed by Restoration, and a Ground and Air Supremacy. I wonder if she's really good on that flute. Maybe she's just terrible and that's why there's no one around. I was like, God, Rhea, you fucking suck. We have another Full Art Blazer Rare. Moonlit Canopy, which is, eh, I still don't think it's a great card. It's cool though. I think we only got one of those in the last box. And I definitely want a Lorite from the uh, Secret Rare from this box. There's, could be some other ones. Oh, nice. We got the uh, 
booty line card, except Sans line. We have Zhang Zhang, super rare. The path we part, and another were rabbit. Definitely hoping for the black and the blue super rare full art ones. The um, you know the, the chance. Oh, dude, seed of rebirth. I did not see this at all in the last box. Uh, this card I think is actually a pretty cool card. Um, also has really cool art. So yeah, I'm happy to get that. Winds of salvation. Getting a lot of cards I did not get at all in the last box, which is good. Valhalla. New rares means hope at uh, J ruler. Maybe. My hope has been <laughs> hope has been returned. No, it's been crushed. White leaf, full art, and yeah, maybe in a guild deck. Get some Sylvia. Make make me a burger. Glint of insight and uh, night of the black moon. I only got one of these in the last box too. Full art one would be fantastic. We've got a magic soldier of time. It sounds a lot cooler than it really is. Um, burnt cooking, spirit searching. We have a drifting little moon. And then this derp face, and ah, Vivian. I like I like the Vivian. This uh, time elf, the firebird, leaf jabrones, bot squad. It's power spike, full art black leaf. Oh nice, prismatic flame, pretty cool. The end of possession, and uh, some some crash. You know what would have been cooler instead of just making, you know, the chase rares, super rares that are from the last sets. How about make them the fucking J rulers that were like impossible to get? That would have been cool. Kaiser Phoenix, Eruption, Bird of Demise. I know making the J rulers, you know, as the secret chase rares might have upset some people, but I kind of don't think it does. J rulers as the chase rares. Oh, dude, full art time reversal. Nice. There we go. Get get the get get the shin on there. The shinning. Very cool. Very happy about that one. And then we have a uh, another Blazer, followed by a Path We Part, and the Sisters of Time. Yeah, guys, I think the big deal with getting the, the extra J rulers in the box wasn't the fact that you were getting J rulers. It was the fact that they were fucking starter deck rulers. Like, I don't think anyone was ever like, two J rulers in a box? Nah, that's too many. Give me less. Give me less of the new cool J rulers. Blue Leaf. We got a Roar of the Soul. I still need a full art one of those. Last audience and a meditation. And I think at this point we can just kind of skip skip on back. Oh, dude. Maybe not. This is a really cool looking full art. I like this a lot. I really like the art style of that. I don't know why. I don't know why. We have a C Cecile and Tia. We have a Gem Jabroni and a Beast Jabroni. You know, skipping that quickly kind of ru ru ruins, as you say, removes some of the buildup and the anticipation. Oh, another one. Let's look at the second one. We have uh, this card. This card's cool. And we have this card. This card's also cool. And so is this one. That's three for three. Mmm, busty bow elf. That's what I'm calling it, man. <laughs> Got another derp face. Hold on. Focus on the derp face. Hold on. Put it here. And then move it closer. Maybe you can focus on the derp face. <laughs> oh, God. It was worth it. I don't know if you guys think it was worth it. I think it was fucking totally worth it. Every last ounce of strength. Yo, anything like... Man, focus. Focus. There we go. Anything full art, Rhea. It's good in my book. And then we have a Alisaris, who is also... I think it's trying to focus on one of these, like, children faces in the background. You know, at this point, I don't care about Feet Sing. Maybe just give me Rhea. How about a Rhea? I'll take a Rhea. Uber Rhea? Oh, dude, Lorite. Nice. Nice. Best super rare pull of the set. Super cool. Happy about the Lorite. And Arrival of the Hero. Good card, too. And some uncommons. I am very happy with the full arts in this box so far. Very good full arts compared to the first box. Ah, Kentaro. It's our fucking, like, fifth Kentaro. I've got so many of these guys. Roar of the Soul. It's funny, I keep getting these, and they're for an IU deck, and you only need one. Which sucks. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, I forgot to do the... <clears throat> Kentaro! Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> We have the Dragon Lord's Breath. I'm going to do that every single time, if I remember. I remember 100% of the time, every time. Or the opposite. <laughs> Demon of the Moonlight. Oh, nice. Another Gil Lapis. Very cool. I love this card a lot. Very cool card. Uh, Crash and a bird. Got this Void Essence. This uh, looking girl looking for stuff to steal or something. Jewel Illusions. Oh, nice. Another full art path we part. It's very cool. It's my second one. 
can so many Allosaurus I'm gonna call him Allosaurus. That is the name of a dinosaur? Got this uh, leaf and then, then some other trash. <laughs> and uh, not all these cards are trash. Some are okay. Like the Dread Trash. Mm. Oh, this one's actually good though. Hoel Pig Squadron. Like legit good. Kintaro! Well, not really. Close enough. You know, I would much rather make sounds with my face than edit sounds in in the video. And that's exactly what I plan to do. Time composing elf full art. Looks very cool still. Not very good. Oh, nice! Another zero! Zero! That doesn't work as much. There's not enough, uh... Not enough syllables in it. Eh, two for two, zero. Not a full art one, but I'll take it, I'll take it. Got this lightning speed crash, some burnt shit. <laughs> Got some flying wind shit. Bot Squad. Uh, oh, variant wings of Ragnarok. Got a variant. Got a full art, the Resistor of Destiny. Gorgeous full art, followed by a Welser. Nice, it's my third Welser. And then some other garbage. Oh well, no, not garbage. Got Vivian. You suck though, I hate you. Well, I don't really hate him. He's okay. You know, I've knocked the camera, or gotten up, so many times in this video. I wonder how far her face has shifted in the video since I started. Uh, that'd be very interesting to note. I guess future me will know. Uh, future editing me. Oh, dude. Kingdom of Diversity Light Palace. I like it a lot. The super rares, other than the full arts in this box, are sweet. Got another arrival, another uh, derpy wind face, and a meditation. <laughs> Guys, we're getting down to it. We're getting to the dregs of this box, and we are still getting no rulers. Ooh, nice. Nice. So, I mean, once again, not a good card, but any full art Rhea, mm -mm, I will take it. We have a Beyond the Threshold of Time, we have a Mother's Love, and a Dragon Hunter. All right, Resistor of Destiny. I mean, I'm pretty sure we've seen like literally all of this stuff before, including that one and that one. There are some cards in the set I think we haven't seen yet. We need to get those. You know, looking down here, there's definitely some more like full art supers that we can get. And there's some sweet ones. There's some sweet ones I haven't got. So we shall see, we have a Ground and Air Supremacy. And ooh, nice. Well, this is another one. I have gotten this before, but a full art would be more than appreciated. Journey to the Future and another Mother's Love. You know, I think this uh, tradition of poop boxes is continuing. I hope it's not a tradition. I don't want to make it a tradition of getting poop boxes. This is a reunion between Master and Pupil. I think it's a cool card. I mean, we just saw a regular version, but I think it's good. And I think it's a good card too. Ataractia. It's like our fourth or fifth one. Then some Panda and some Vivian. You know, I don't even know where the placement of the J Ruler would be if we got one. I would assume it would be in the same spot as the this, as the the full art, the whirling twins. Oh, nice, another distortion of time. Happy about that. Some crash and some stuff. All right, so we are down to six packs. Will these six packs make make me happy, or will they make me very sad? This is the second one of these I've gotten. I mean, I'm happy about it, I like it, but, I mean, come on. A little Last Thunder, a little Lightning Waterfowl, and some Time Dilation. Oh, Feet Sing, where art thou? Are you in this box? Probably not. You know, the... There's some Burnt Cooking. I got some uh, Nanny... Nanny Panda. Oh, Glint of Insight. It's supposed to be a 70% pull ratio on the rulers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was 70% for me. It's like the, the inverse. It's like 30%. You know, all of this, I'm just trying to spit in Destiny's face, so then I actually end up getting something sick, like an Uber. Like an Uber. Ooh, Life or Death Struggle. That is a full art rare, and a very fucking cool rare. And I think it's the first time we've gotten this one, too. Like, of any rarity. We've got a blazer, I've gotten a shitload of blazers. And this other stuff. <laughs> so guys, as I come down to my last three packs for this video, I hope you guys were able to get some J Ruler action because it doesn't look like I did. Ooh, time dilation. It's a cool card. And some Leaf Paladin. And some Naughty Spanking. Let me know in the comments what uh, pulls you got. If you got better boxes than me, or if fucking God forbid you got a worse box than me. It's a full art uh, Ragnarok at the close. Still got one more pack, but pretty happy about you know getting this. And Prismatic Flame. Nice. This is a, this is a pretty cool pack. I, I I dig it. I dig it. And Jeez, the fucking foiling on this is sweet. 
Hold on. Gotta get the sweetness. Where is it? Right there? Nah, you, you, you saw it. You saw it. Alright, so this is the last pack. Uh, this better be a fucking god pack or an uber. And it is not a god pack. So, you know, that clearly means... I'm gonna take the... And I knock the camera again. This is just... This is par for course, man. Um, there better be a fucking uber in here. I doubt it, though. We have, uh, this fairy. Oh, come on. And then... Oh, magic soldier of time. Fucking soul crushing. Kint Kintaro! Jesus Christ. Well, guys, let's, uh, see, let's see what I got. So this box, other than getting completely shafted on the J-Ruler, I think it was a little bit better than the first one, though we didn't get as many, uh, super rares. We got fucking five super rares in that first box. That was, like, that was crazy. This time we got three. They're good ones. Well, I mean, they're ones that I like, I should say. Uh, we also got Lorite, which is awesome, and then, you know, all the rest. All these other six. They're just regular rares. I have another box that I just might open up in my spare time or do some drafting or anything. And if I get an Uber in that, if I get a ruler in that, I will update this. I'll probably have a little ending ending uh, splash thing going over that. But uh, if I didn't, then this is the end of the video. And I hope you guys liked it. And um, you know, I hope you stick around for the deck in the box video coming out later this week. I try to get this one out as fast as possible. Um, you know, with the uh, editing and all that permitting. But, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you liked it. I think I already said all this shit. Just, just have a good one, guys. I'll see you next time. All right, guys, so I'm going to call some bullshit on some of this. Here I am opening up this extra box that I had just to open up off screen. You know, I'm just casually pulling them just to see when I get, just for fun. Just lounging. I got, oh, good, Gil Lapis. He's pretty sweet. And I got a time reversal. Oh, that's also pretty sweet. And then zero, full art. That's, like, really fucking sweet. Look at that shit. Very cool. And then, oh, look. I got a J ruler. Of course, I got the J ruler off screen. Just so you know, the the full art zero is full art on one side, and her normal full art on the other side. Pretty pretty cool. But yeah, of course, I get the the Rhea when I'm you know not recording. Well, here I am recording now, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna be pretty pissed if I get another J ruler in these packs. I'm just gonna open these up in my in my spare time. Um, if I do get one, well, you'll, you'll see it. And I don't forget, I also have the deck in the box coming down the pipeline. This was just kind of an extra thing that I had um, just to, to do in my, in, my, in my leisure. In any case, guys, uh, I'll, I'll see you later. Jesus, fucking can't believe it.